Well, you know what? There are some people that say, hey, short-term rentals, those have been happening for generations here in the state of Michigan. It is a tradition, but um, municipalities are saying they're seeing an increase and they have concerns, concerns that these short-term rentals perhaps are contributing to the housing shortage, concerns that uh, there aren't regulations. And so here in Royal Oak, you can see we have uh, the Hotel Royal Oak, a relatively new hotel to the area to provide a place to stay. Airbnb and other short-term rentals have always helped to fill in the gap, but in neighboring Ferndale, there is no hotel, Airbnb or other short-term rentals. That's really your only option to stay, and yet the city has passed regulations recently, and they're not the only ones in the state. We've used um, Airbnb quite extensively. Kathy Lloyd Langley loves adventure and she loves Michigan. I was hiking the North Country Trail the last couple of years from the Ohio border to the um, bridge, Mackinac Bridge. And there's a lot of small towns and there's not hotels. Instead of camping, Kathy and her friends booked homes through Airbnb. Kind of felt good to be able to support uh, people who you know, just needed to supplement their income. Brian Westrin, the general counsel with Michigan Realtors Association, says it feels good to the homeowner, too. Property owners are uh, have never been in a better position to maximize the value of their property. There has really been a fundamental shift in terms of what people are looking for. Airbnb senior vice president of policy says more and more people are driving from one part of Michigan to another, opting to vacation in a home with their immediate family and friends. The typical new host earned $8,100 over the pandemic, right? 90% uh, of our hosts, or over 90%, are people who are using a home that they live in. Across the state, city leaders are noticing the boom. My name is Michael Kane, and I'm the city manager for the city of Boyne City. Some are concerned about the growth. We have a population of about 3,700 people, which means we have one short-term rental for every 16 people in our community. If allowed to go unchecked, the abundance of these... Uh, mini hotels or short-term rentals could reduce the availability of homes that people need to live, work in our community. Real estate experts say the high cost of lumber and low mortgage rates are big contributors to the housing shortage. Short-term rentals are not to blame. Short-term rentals are essentially a taking a residential property and turning it into a commercial use. Across the state, some cities like Ann Arbor are attempting to place restrictions on short-term rentals and others are using zoning ordinances to stop it altogether. In St. Clair Shores, one host is fighting criminal charges, accused of engaging in commercial activity because he rented his home out. And without a definition that characterizes short-term rental as a permitted residential residential use, um, you are left in that gray area. Western says Senate Bill 446 and House Bill 4722 would remove the gray area and prevent any municipality from banning short-term residential rentals. But some communities are pushing back. We're just opposed to this regulation, which takes our ability and that of all communities in Michigan away. If passed, Western says communities would still have power to regulate using nuisance ordinances and health and safety ordinances. They wouldn't be able to ban it altogether. We want to make sure that it's preserved as a residential use, but that you know those people who choose to rent and those people who uh, choose to open up their property to others, they have to be accountable for the behaviors that occur. You know, some municipalities also have some safety concerns as well. Airbnb, though, did place a party ban last summer. They've extended that party ban for at least another year. And Airbnb also tells me that they have integrated a lot of new services to work alongside municipalities to help them monitor how many Airbnbs there are in their community and to help ensure that people are following any types of regulations. This is a, a battle continuing continuing on in Lansing over, again, property rights will continue to follow it for you. Reporting live, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.